Hey guys, Nate here. I'm at the local pick and pull. I did have one neat find. This is an RSX. And on it was a wing. It's a 2004 RSX, but I thought I might try to retrofit the spoiler on there onto my TSX and see how that goes. Well, here is the spoiler. It is for a RSX and not a TSX, so I'm going to mount it a slightly different way. And to first do that, I'm going to have to cut off this bolt piece that's sticking out there on either side. I do have to take the spoiler off that was on my car. It's lasted for about three years now and it made it through winters and all the elements, but this one has to go. So I started sawing back and forth with some dental floss on one of the sides to get it to start to open. And now from this point, I can just peel the rest of it up. So I was able to remove all the 3M tape. I first was scraping it off with a plastic scraper and then later on I went over with some polish. It's sort of a also a scratch remover so you gotta be careful not to wreck your clear coat. There's no residue left over and it looks nice and clean. Like I said earlier I'm not gonna use the mounting points that are on the spoiler because I gotta retrofit it. So I put this piece of cardboard down to first help me I cut it where the trunk lines are and made some reference points so that way I can lift up the trunk and under here I can see where I'm going to want to drill the holes for the spoiler to come through and later I'm going to take those points and put them on the wing so I'll know how to mount this. The wing is centered on top of the cardboard and I went around and marked off where it touches the cardboard so I'll be able to at the outside perimeter of the mounting surface and then based on that I'll know where on the cardboard to make the marks to put the holes but you can already sort of see how it's gonna look when it's on the car to make it so the drill bit won't walk when drilling I put a little center punch there and then after this I'll just come back and make them larger to whatever bolt size I end up using I have the holes drilled out to a quarter inch. I also sanded them down to make them flush with the trunk and painted them to prevent rusting. In case you're wondering, that's the size of the bolt I'm gonna be using. Here on the spoiler, I also have quarter inch holes with a axis hole right here so I can get in here and get the bolt to stick out that side. So I'm ready to put the bolts through. I just put a little piece of duct tape on the back side to hold the bolt in place. Then I can push it through the trunk and then get this nut on. I also put some 3M there to cushion it and also help it stick. To get the nuts and bolts tightened down, I ended up just putting a wrench on that side and then I hold this side with a pair of pliers at the threads so I could get it tightened. And I wanted to get some angle shots so you can see sort of how it looks like once it's on there. Get some different angles. 